There's sort no. of two models that people come and say, ask, does, does revenue drive headcount or does headcount drive revenue? And it sounds like you're, you're squarely in the former camp, that you derive headcount from revenue. No, no. no. I actually drive revenue from headcount, but I make sure I have enough stocked away. I, any revenue that's generated in Viva is because of people. Well, for sure. Yeah, and yeah. you got you to gotta hire those. If you want revenue four years from now, you got to hire those people now. Yeah. Right, yeah. we're starting right. up a brand new, probably our biggest product area to date, and this year we hired 30 people. Those people produce real good revenue for Viva four or five years down the road, that's when that will be a hundred plus million dollar business. But you got to hire them now. So revenue follows the people. How do you think, uh, related to that, how do you think about how many of your sales team should perform? Like how do you think about that? Do you believe in that bell-shaped distribution? Do you in hate the bell shape? In terms of sales, pe sales yeah. people? Uh, if, you, if you're waiting four years for them to perform, it's terrible if, if, oh. if you have that attrition, isn't it? Yeah. No, I'm really thinking more about the product, the ingredients on the product people. That's like a soup that that has a f they, they, they start to hit their stride. <laughs> a product time, has right? a four-year cooking cycle, right? It's a soup. They're like, oh, my God, I want to eat it four years from now. I've got to start cooking it now. Really? That's, that's not good. But, yeah, product takes a long time. With sales, you know, we have a philosophy that we say we don't, we don't overcover. So we want to leave top-line revenue on the table. We don't want to get all the top-line revenue because if we, if we push all the way for that, we will get some inefficiencies, and that's not so good. But also, we will get bad customer feeling. Yeah. Because a desperate rep will do desperate things, and the rep's in front of the customer, and they'll feel it. You don't want those desperate things, do you? No, because for us, we have many customers that are, you know, they're over tw well over $20 million a year customers from us. Do we want them ever these are having infinity some relationships, right? Yeah, this is, these are twenty-year relationships. Do we want somebody in there saying, "I got to close this thing on the, my quarter because of my commission," and I don't really care that you're paying us twenty million dollars a year? So you, the way you do that is you you don't you sacrifice top-line revenue, and you don't put too many reps on there. So then the rep is not desperate. <laughs>